Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Suburbia. So, um, I wanted to do more of this game today. If you notice, I've moved place cam, so we're up in this, up in the car, in a different corner this time, so you guys can see the tasks now, just in case I was annoying anybody. Um, let's um, let's get some like happiness in done. Um, apparently we have got a guest. It's the, our friendly neighborhood watch uh, friend, our new friend here. Um. Mer a vigilante. We're not vigilantes on the neighborhood watch. However, I personally believe in the conver <sighs> conversional powers of the baseball bat. Right, everybody, don't break into her head or she'll whack you on with a baseball bat. Now, the first thing you need to get is a phone. Right, give Maria Christiana coffee, have a cyborg, and have a phone. So, we're going to go get ourselves a cyborg first. I don't want to bring her in and then, you know, start buying stuff when she's here. Um, cyborg. So we want to put this here. I want to move the table. Where is she exactly? Is she supposed to sit for her coffee? Can we turn this around again? Let's go to, uh, rotate. Can I rotate it again? There we go. Let me put it there. There. Thank you. So we're gonna put there. <clears throat> okay. Right, we got that done. We got ourselves a coffee too. We need a phone. We're gonna put our phone here. So let's go shop. Where would the phone come and off? Phone. We need ourselves a phone in case of emergencies. Phone. 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 A phone. A phone. A phone. I'm gonna keep saying phone, and I'm not gonna find it, am I? Okay. Um. Phone. Let's go into tasks, actually. Um. Show me. Where do I get a phone? In specials. Okay. Right. Um. Oh wow. My phone comes in a box. Let's open this up. Go on. Unpack that phone. Ooh, let's see our phone. Oh, wow, it's one of those uh, like old ones where you used to like rotate the dial thing around. I don't know. I we never had them. I know that a lot of kiddies' toys are like this. Wait, that phone's the wrong way around. Let's rotate it. Rotate, rotate the phone. Thank you. Now put it back there. Okay. Now let's go and give her some coffee. Okay, share a coffee. I'm not gonna greet her. I'm just gonna go. Here's your goddamn coffee. You nosy neighbor, cause I got everybody. Everybody as you know has apparently having coffee in the street. Yay! Everybody does enough. I feel bad in knowing you have a phone in case of emergencies. I'm just very vigilant about people who wreck and steal what we're building here. I'm glad you're on board. There's nothing I value more than friendship and family. She seems like a good person. She's leaving. Goodbye then, friend. When I said you were with us, I meant it. It's time for you to hop on the Libertine Heights Neighborhood Watch, or as I like to call it, the LHNW. Who did the Neighborhood Watch? They must have seen something two years ago, right? Unless they're all honest. Right, um... Chase away, teenager. What teenager? I have it. Where is it said teenager? Where? <gasps> oh, you! Get off my land! Don't know who you are. Get off my land right now. I mean it. I'm actually throttling him. Go on. Get out of here, you mean your kids. Go on. Get out. I like that. She's like, eh. And he's like, but I don't want to. Get off of here now before I strangle you. And he's like, okay, 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 ready. All right, I'll go. Jeez, crazy woman trying to kill me. You bet I did. What's this? Is this glass? Someone cans. Okay, where's glass? Is this glass? Yes, that's glass. We'll get rid of that. Send off flowers in case our crazy batty neighbor comes along. Yeah! I'm curious as to where this is going. Now talk to Ned Sanders. Show me. 
Okay, well, I'm before I go talk to Ned, let's just finish up here first. Go to work. And then go to Ned's house. Let's head off to Ned's now and uh, talk to Ned about something. Okay, so let's talk to Ned about something. I don't know what we're talking to him about. Hello, Ned, I've come to talk to you because that neighbourhood lady told me I had to come talk to her. I don't know why. Oh, God, why was that hot? Those two will never know what hit them great word. I'm proud to call you my friend. And you're right, kind of thought to visit Ned in lonely hours. I wonder what happened to his wife anyway. Very good question. I want to know too. Unless he lost his hand, but he murdered her. You can tell I'm going to accuse anybody of murder through this until I get it right. Right, um, so this is going to sound strange, but I've come to trust you and I need your help. I've lost a key, a very special key, Lance, and I've lost my mind if I don't find it again. Could you please come over and help me? Sure, I'll help you find your key. This is Maria Christiana's. Okay, search the the couches, kitchen cupboards, and the bathroom cabinets or bedside lockers. Okay. We're going to go to our house, and we're apparently going to be very nosy neighbours. Because we are. Hopefully no goddamn teenagers turn up while I'm gone. Wait a minute. We are going to change our outfit as well. It's going to be boring having the same outfit. Why is the police station there? <gasps> Why is he there? The policeman's there at Christina's. I don't know. Uh, Maria. Sorry, Marie. He's around here somewhere. Where? I know I just saw him. He's definitely nearby. Okay, so I need to find her stuff. Yeah, he's there. Why is he here? Why can I kiss this? Oh, I can flirt with him. Talk to him. Why is he here? Let's be friendly with the guy. And, um, you know, and let's talk to Christina to find out what is going on. Am I flirting with him? Well, I'm possibly flirting with him. What is going on? How did you lose your key, Christina? Okay, now I'm supposed to search. So the couches, kitchen cameras, and bathroom cameras or bedside lockers. Okay, so gee, she's got a lot of these, doesn't she? Modern bedside that one as well. There's a bunch of rubbish here. Um kitchen cabinets. High cupboard. Cupboard lower. There. Bathroom cabinets. There's another one cabinet here and there's another cabinet here. Where's the bathroom cabinet? Where would I find the bathroom? She got a locker in here? The bathroom cabinet. Hopefully we have got... Yay! We got her key! Success! We have her key! This is Maria's skeleton key. It opens any door or gate. Hmm. Strange. Why would she need a skeleton key? You found it amazing! I knew I had and you knew you had it in you. So this isn't just any key, but a skeleton key, and it's my husband. He would have gone crazy if I lost it. He's an officer of the law, you know. Or why would you know? But now you know. Yes, why would I know that your husband was an officer? <gasps> Is that her husband? Is that her husband? That would explain why he lives here, wouldn't it? I mean, keep my eye on another neighbour, Agent Cassidy. Agent Cassidy, for a while now, and I just know he's up to no good. Have you met him yet? He is bad news. Hmm, no, I haven't. Oh, but there's another neighbour we need to know about. So let's go find, get a shovel. Right, ask Marie Cassidy, ask about Agent Cassidy. Okay, let's ask, oh wait, what did the book say? What did the book say? It said, exactly what kind of bad is it? He's cooking, I don't know, but I'd like to find out which is where you come in. By the way, you're going to need a shovel. Why am I going to need a shovel? What? Why, why do I need a shovel? Why do I need to go dig? I don't like this. Dig in these bad things. Dig in these, we're going to find something bad. Oh no, I'm going to find a 
Okay. So we're gonna definitely find something bad, most like I'm so sorry for my glasses. And it says, exactly what kind of bad he's cooking, I don't know. But I like to find out. I don't want to, but okay. Ask Maria Christina about Aiden Cassidy. I told to Maria Christina about her plan and get a shovel. Um Okay. We gotta go ask her first about this guy. So let's ask about Cassidy. Aiden Cassidy. What what exactly makes you suspicious about him? I, I see, whatever it was it very funny. Okay, ask about her plan. Apparently, it's so secretive, I have no idea what it is. Okay. Get a shovel. Ask friends to give you one. I don't want to wait for that. So I got a shovel. I've seen um, Aiden moving about in his garden at night, and somehow I think it's connected to all those damn teenagers hanging about. I hope I'm wrong. Bring that shovel, and we'll find it soon enough. Let's go over to Aiden's house. Oh my god, we're going to break in and we're going to dig up his garden. We really? Oh my god. <gasps> Don't ever break in someone's garden digging up their stuff, okay? It's it's totally bad and wrong and we shouldn't be doing it. Oh god. Right, so this key that you helped me find, I'm sure my husband won't miss it for another night or so. It unlocks anything and everything, including the gate in the backyard. Let's go. Wow. Honestly, she's... I like this one. The dig. We'll use the key to open Aiden's gate and then we'll start digging to see what we might find. Those tulips look mighty suspicious. They are perfectly placed and everything else is messy. Let's start there. Tulip? Hmm. We have a friend who's obsessed with tulip. Neatly placed and if Aiden isn't the one. Maybe Aiden had help. Maybe there's like a complice. Look. In Ned live not that far from each other conveniently, and Ned is the one that has tulips, not Cassidy. But okay, let's go to Aiden Cassidy's place. Okay, sorry about that. Camera went really weird and buggy there. So this is Aiden's. Seriously, am I never gonna find someone with an icky, disgusting house? Wait, wait, it looks like a person shape. It looks like a cross. I better not find a person in there or I'm not going to be happy. Right, unlock the gate. Let's go. We're gonna we're breaking in people, let's break into the garden. <laughs> Me and my compass have successfully entered the garden. Okay. Oh great. Okay guys, here we go. I'm gonna go with it this one. I just had to dig three. That one. What's that? What's that? two dead bodies because we can see one leg and there's another leg up in the air so there might actually be two dead bodies there um well then um there's a murder uh i guess it's a good place to end this episode when we come up we'll, we'll like investigate more and get the rest of the bodies out of there and um yeah
We found a dead body! Yay! We'll definitely have our own little cult party! Too soon, too soon. Um, well this is interesting, and for some reason our neighbour here, uh, Marie, Marie here, um, was interested in why one of the neighbours was acting suspiciously, and, um, led us to Aiden, who apparently is acting really suspicious, we find out that he's got a bunch of tulips in his back garden, doesn't seem like his type of thing, really, tulips are what our neighbour Ned is into, I'm leaning more towards Ned having something to do with this already, but um, we got clearly looks like two dead bodies in there. But we won't know until we finish digging them up. So um, yeah, there's murder in suburbia. Yay! Wait a minute, are we trying to uh, breaking and entering? We broke into the guy's back garden to investigate. I hope we don't get arrested for this, but then again, you know, her husband is to do with the police, but, um... Yay! <laughs> I knew this was a bad idea, to break into someone's garden and dig up their tulips. Bad things happen. Oh, God. What have we done? Well, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. Ta-ta!